welcome back, folks, to Mount Deum, the last mission. Find some fucking scientists. I feel good. Five seven nine. That wasn't too hard to figure out. Lockers for us. We appreciate ya. Welcome Suck to my balls. Where the future is now. Offloading a shipment of steel supports when the procurement manager stopped him. In the heated conversation that followed, Sanders grabbed a nearby pickaxe That's and launched at the manager. Luckily, when Sanders attacked the manager, a number of men were able to subdue him. When we questioned Sanders afterwards, he seemed to have given up. Unusual. I don't remember why he got so upset. He tapped him and the only recall stopping him and a moment later waking in the cooking cell. Since that event, we have seen arguments progress more and more from heated shouting matches straight into outright brawls. Antagonists in these incidents all display the same conditions as if they were suddenly possessed by violent anger and then afterwards return to normal. We have only one serious life-threatening case so far where engineer Leon Powell was stabbed multiple times. I fear this is not the worst of our troubles and have requested additional security personnel posted at critical junctions. To assist any immediate medical need, I have resupplied storage cabinet 965 with the opening of 428. Sergeant Nasser Adel, out. What does Nasser have to say about upcoming VIP visits? Nasser Adil, personal log dated November 12th, 2145. I have just received word from central authority that the UAC representative, Councillor Elliot Swan, will be arriving in a few days. The report states he will be reviewing all sectors of Mars City, including the hospitals. <sighs> I'm not sure that's a good idea in light of the recent events we've had here. The violent assaults that seem to plague Exis Labs have caused the civilian staff to be pretty wary of the machines. Now, to top it all off, missing weapons. God damn it, dude! Checkpoint for police stock to this. Now, half the weapons are gone. I, I don't know how this situation occurred, but my Marines swear no one has access to the cabinet except for them. I've ruled out those assigned to me and other security personnel. But I can't figure out who else has those codes. To sum up, this is a bad situation, turning worse every day. My recent request for more manpower in Exes Labs was denied. It seems other sectors of Mars City are stretched thin, and the small reserves at the base are already allocated. 
I need to have faith in my current attachment of Marines that they will turn things around. I'll talk to Central again and see if Councillor Swan can bypass Exis. The last thing I want is some staff worker with a sudden episode of dementia murdering a VIP. I'm having enough problems trying to keep everyone here from killing each other. <sighs> Sergeant Nasir Adil, signing off. Signing off. I didn't know if you could with all those things out there. Look, we don't have much time. These creatures are spreading throughout the base, and if we don't act quickly, all could be lost. I understand you have a lot of questions, but I can't answer them right now. All I can say is, we need to get the teleporter in the next chamber working. But to do that, I need you to find a plasma inducer for the stabilizer bank. There's one in engineering. Now, if you head through the service tunnel, you can reach it. I'll unlock some doors. There. That will give you the necessary clearance. Now, please, get the inducer and hurry back. We don't have a lot of time. Please hurry. All right, all right, all right. This is Dmitry Lebedev, supply manager for the Exis Labs facility. Entry dated October 6, 2145. I've received the latest shipment of MK7 spacesuits from Earth today. They have a triple weave of titanium mesh on the outer layer for Class V excursions. With the ongoing construction requiring additional EVA time on the Martian surface, these new suits should up better. In the last two months of the day, a number of unexplained soup decompressions resulting in fatalities. In the case of technician Mike Stanley, the decompression was somehow the resulting in a fluid 
kills with the shield and kill it. It doesn't work, so it's named that here. There wouldn't be much to attach to In each case, the penetrations and also the pressure appear to occur from inside the suit. Scanned after the incidents and no material degradations were found. For UAC EVA operations, the suits before the accidents were probably stored in the local shooter mechanisms. I also followed up with the mission to ensure the suits have the necessary pre EVA checklist before anyone reaches the Martian atmosphere. The hell was that shit? Fucking shit in my dick. Fuck you, motherfucker. Eat my balls. I just want to talk some shit. Needed that big time. I don't know how to call. 
climb a fucking ladder either, apparently. Let's try that again without falling uh, on our ass. Subcontractor mentioned the mock ship. the alternative material selection to the base architect for me. On our Tuesday progress meeting, he argued the mix on deals are in He confirmed that those deals are inferior. Hey, guess what? I was building shit before he was born. Anyway, I managed to get the mix-on seals ordered. I bypassed the army and talked directly to corporate. I sure. Saving. We'll be installing exterior windows and environmental in a week and he will never know. I'm so convinced the glass and seals will hold up that I'm gonna take a rocket launcher and test it on those windows and make me. Not a shit of the stupid architect. Awesome out. in the Lost Mission content. And there's one more PDA to find. And that is fucking it. Bernice Tooley, Operations Coordinator, stationed in Exus Labs. I would like to file my third formal complaint to the Central Authority about the problems with the work environment here in Exus. It has become increasingly difficult to be productive while construction is going on throughout the facility. The construction workers are rude, lack common courtesies, and are overtly sexist. They use our office space as an unauthorized shortcut and track dirt and debris as a result. In addition to their mess, they insist on drilling and hammering during our fourth staff hour. Some of them have repeatedly made inappropriate comments that clearly fall 
under sexual harassment. When I approached the construction supervisor to remedy the situation, he told me in no uncertain terms to mind my own business. Actually, his exact words were, don't worry your pretty little head about it. We are already on edge with the unexplained events occurring around the facility, and to add this insult to our tight schedule is too much to bear. If I cannot persuade Central Authority to take this seriously, I'd like to remind them of Section 20, Paragraph 9 of UAC's Facility Regulations Code. It clearly states our employee rights, and we do not need nonsense. I suggest you recommend the individuals responsible and take adequate measures to ensure it doesn't happen again. Do not make me log additional complaints. Bernice Tooley, signing off. Fucking next. Quantities of matter transference. It 
can only teleport a single test subject, small animals and chimps usually, across a room. Once testing intensified and the technical data increased, we were able to fabricate more powerful teleporters. In Delta Labs Sector 3, Project Gemini managed to increase teleportation across greater distances. In addition to the increased range, we found we could begin transporting human-sized subjects. It was during this stage we began to see the effects of opening up these portals to that strange dimension. Our scientific curiosity overruled the obvious warnings. And under Dr. Malcolm Petruber's direction, we continued experimenting. On Project Apollo, the engineers developed a room-sized teleporter in Delta Lab Sector 4. It was capable of teleporting a small-sized team to destinations on this new dimensional plane. The expedition teams began exploring and setting up small research outposts. We could only teleport small equipment with the Delta IV teleporter, and this condition frustrated Dr. Petruvian. Soon after the success of Project Apollo, plans were drawn and work executed on a new facility, Exus Labs. At Exus Labs, the goal was to create a large teleporter, similar in scale to the one at Urbis. It would be powerful enough to transport large equipment, even dropships, and eventually shorten interstellar travel. The trooper was so impatient on seeing results from this research, he had the engineers start work on the teleporter once the facility reached 75% completion. We had expedition teams set up a teleporter outpost in the other dimension to link up with Exus. It was at this time I began investigating the strange stories I heard over Delta Labs. I managed to hack undetected into the trooper's personal logs. What I found scared me to the core. But Truger became obsessed with the findings of this new dimension. He started to push experiments, regardless of the human cost. His long entries into the occult and how to harness evil powers were truly frightening. The more recent ones detailed how demons, yes, demons, contacted him through his dreams, offering him unimaginable powers. But they demanded he find a way to help them reclaim Earth. Then I realized that this other dimension was hell itself. By the time I realized his plan, the trooper had started the invasion. Since the Exus teleporter hadn't reached sufficient functionality, I assumed the trooper decided to launch the demon invasion on Mars without it. However, the Hell Outpost teleporter is operationally ready, and it's only a matter of time before Petruger decides to use it. I'm going to try to reach Chief Engineer Rose at the Enpro facility to divert enough power to Exus, and with a little luck, create a big enough power surge to destroy it from here. I can only pray God forgive me for my part. Help me make things right. A lot of blab. Decontamination process started. Richard Myers. Decontamination complete. I have the teleporter sequence already configured. Just activate the main console. When you reach the outpost, activate. Teleportation will commence in T minus three, two, one. Wow, my destiny calls her. Welcome to hell. I'm detecting a faint signal from your location. I can track you from here. Hurry. Find the outpost. Folks, that wraps up for this episode. Stay tuned for hell. Soon to come. Coming sooner than I thought. <laughs>